Hi, thanks for checking out my channel. If you're like me, you have a whole bunch of these tapes laying around that were recorded with this old camcorder that need to go into a computer. I'm going to show you how to take this camcorder that uses this type of tape and transfer those videos into a file format that Windows 7 will accept. So stay tuned. All right, what I was showing you there was a couple of old camcorders. Uh, the first camcorder, I bought this back in 1998. This is an older Video 8. It's not even to the Hi8 standard. This was before Hi8, which is totally obsolete. What I want to show you is this camcorder, which is also old. I bought this back in like 2007, so this is over seven years old. And again, electronics technology moves so fast, this is obsolete pretty much at this point too. At the time that I bought this camcorder, the CCD TRV11, this was about $260 when I bought it back in 1998. Because this thing's not worth but maybe $50 now, if that. Then I bought this one, and I bought this one back in 2007. I think I paid $360 for it. You could buy these online relatively cheap, and that's why I want to show you some of the functions that go unnoticed with these camcorders that's probably a really good idea to have. What I want to talk to you about is something that I found out and I'm just trying to give you the heads up so you might be able to avoid some of this frustration. I have a lot of these tapes like I said and I want to transfer them over to my laptop which runs Windows 7. You can buy all kinds of video transfer hardware. The problem that I've noticed with these is some degradation of quality whenever you're doing that. Not a lot and some of them are very good but I wanted to see if there was some way that I could use a digital video camcorder that I've had for quite some time. This is a DCR HC96. This was the top of the line for the year that it came out as far as the DCR models and there were other DCR HC models that were lesser numbers that have this same function in it. What I want to show you about this camcorder really isn't so much about the camcorder itself, it's what's inside the camcorder, the programming that's in there that converts over to DV. And it does its interface through this docking station. Now if I take this camera and install it in the docking station, you'll see it does a couple things. First of all, it charges the battery by that light right there. And it also gives you an access to a whole bunch of these ports. This one allows for audio video in to the docking station interface with the camera. This is just the power. This is a 1394 mini DV or iLink uh, that's a four pin. And this is a USB. Now the USB works fine with Windows XP. This is for Windows 7 uh, going through a firewire. And I've got that in my other video. This camera came with quite a few cables. One of the cables was this one here. It allows this camcorder to take its digital video converting properties and apply it to whatever the analog source is. So I'm going to go ahead and just plug this in, pretty simple, into the audio video port. And then I'm going to plug this into my camcorder. So yellow to yellow, white to black. That's going to give you the video and your sound. Now if this was a stereo output, I could hook up this one for the right channel. However, it's just the left channel. Now that I have that connection made, what I'm going to do is make the connection for my FireWire. Here's the 1394 iLink 4 pin that I was talking about. We'll plug that in. Now I'll go ahead and just plug this into my FireWire PCI card. Okay, I want to show you how to set up the camcorder so it does this digital conversion. What you do is you turn the camcorder on. That's the camera tape mode, which is just picking up whatever the camera sees. The camera memory mode does the same thing, just puts it to a memory card. And then the play edit mode. Now on this, this is a touch screen. Down here in the corner you can see P menu. Push that. And then it's going to bring you into a few menu screens. I'm going to go into the menu though a little bit deeper. You can see there's quite a few things in here that this camcorder has that you can adjust. I'll try to push this without going out of focus. The thing we want to look at is the standard set mode. And then what we'll do is go into that sub menu by clicking OK. Now that we're in here, there's quite a few choices for this, just this one function. What we're going to go look for is something called AV DV out. You can see it says it's off. I'm going to go ahead and push OK. It's telling me, do you want it on? Yeah, I want it on. Now I'll OK. Now it says it's on, and I'll go ahead and exit. 
and put me back to the blue screen in which I can turn this off. Now if you look here in the case of this one, you have a chance of it being a camera or a player. I'm just making this a player, just like a VCR for Video 8 tapes. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. Everything's set up. This is turned on the analog camcorder. The tape is rewound to where I want it. And now I'm going to try to make the camera interface with the laptop first. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this on. It puts it into the camera tape mode. Now you can see by what comes up here on the screen is it's wanting to import live video. So let's make a test file name. And we're going to click next at this point. And it's the way we're going to trick the software by doing this. Okay, now it's asking me to import. Now if I click import, it's just going to import whatever's on the screen, whatever can be seen by the camcorder. That's not what we want to do, but now that we're in this import live mode, this is where we fool the software. We're going to skip out of that, that camera memory, that does the same thing. You can see on the screen here, it does the same thing as what the first mode does. Now we went to the play edit mode. And with the play edit mode, it's asking me to import. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to click import. You can see nothing's going on to the, the computer right now. And now I'm going to push play for the tape. Now you can see this screen is displaying the picture that's on this tape. This screen's displaying the picture that's on this tape. And the computer is now taking in what's on this tape but this is how it's going to capture it and like i said we kind of fooled the software at this point it's kind of strange that you have to go through those steps but it works now if i push stop it's going to create a file that goes into a predetermined area in which i chose but that's how you really capture it and i'm going to show you here once we stop it it stopped importing but the tape's still playing so i'm going to go ahead and stop the tape we're going to go ahead and close this out and we're going to click finish. Now I'm using some screen capture software on my laptop also. So it could be that the quality of film that I just captured isn't the best, but we'll go in here and see what the video says. There it is, the test with a bunch of T's. We'll go ahead and open it up in Windows. You can see there's that blank screen that I first captured until I decided to push play. And there it is. But there you go. That's how you do it. That's going to allow you to capture whatever you want from these old camcorders and old VCR tapes through this. This would be like buying a Sony video card to transfer analog to digital. And you get a camcorder to boot. So I'm taking a Sony format and I'm transferring it through a Sony format into the laptop. However, it should work with any analog source, no matter what the case on the source. But it's allowing some good quality digital converting, which I really like. And I see some very good results out of this. You can find a whole bunch of these camcorders locally for about $50 on your local Craigslist or local sites that you may use, Kijiji or whoever it may be. But just to let you know that these cameras out there, they're cheap. You can buy them all day long for under $100. And you're going to get very good quality transferring of analog sources and tapes. So go ahead and jump into it and capture your memories. And I hope this helps. If so, click the like or subscribe button down below. And I hope to give you more videos just like this if you like them. Thank you. Bye.